Uh, what is up guys uh, it's your boy here back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to run wire through the firewall so if you guys been following me um, in the last video I did some gauges uh, installation with my mate on the 350Z in that video I kind of covered how to uh, run wire through your firewall there are still people um, asking me how to and uh, where exactly you can I decided to do another video just to um, go into the details and show you guys exactly how to do it. So yeah, uh, let's get started. So yeah, the process of um, getting the wire through the firewall is pretty, it's pretty much the same on every single car. But today I'm just going to cover the G35 and 350Z. So this is a left hand drive model. Uh, which is from Japan for the G35 you guys are left hand drive model which means the battery will be there and then all the ABS module the clutch reservoir the brake fluid will be on the uh, driver side so uh, for you guys the driver side um, so just keep in mind everything will be the same um, it's just because of uh, this is a left hand drive so everything just has been flipped around um, but yeah let's get started first thing first um, there are so many different ways to run wire through your firewall but personally I don't recommend drilling a hole onto your firewall uh, just because you never know um, what's behind the firewall uh, could be some wires could be some mechanical stuff right um, it could be easily be electrical stuff so you don't want to just go blend out and then drill a hole through the firewall I don't recommend drilling a hole through the firewall at all um, just because uh, the moisture could get in there or it could rust uh, create a lot of issues so this is the way I like to do it if you come to the battery the passenger side on these cars the battery will always be on the passenger side so a couple of plastic clips and you want to undo the rubber remove the plastic clip and you should be able to see a rubber boot behind this I don't know what you call it but behind this plastic piece these clips are super easy grab a flathead screwdriver and then just pop it pull it like that right with all the plastic uh, clips removed remove that and then you have to remove this one and this one with these two clips removed you want to pull it forward like that right so now you can see this is a wiring harness running through this and then into this rubber boot so what you want to do is you want to use a knife and carefully don't damage the uh, wiring harness because it'll be a pain in the ass to fix that so you want to use a knife or a screwdriver to poke through that alright guys uh, it's probably been five minutes so I've just been removing all the clips and the bolts and everything so I'm gonna show you guys this is classic clips and then here you can see there's one bolt hole right there 10 mil and then there's another one right right here so there's another 10 mil but don't remove just yet because here you will have 10 mil bolts hiding underneath the plastic clip plastic cover so you just want to grab a really thin small flathead screwdriver and then pop it open so there are two one is here and one is right there so after you've done all of that here comes probably the hardest part which is removing the wiper blade the wiper arm um, if your one isn't like all seized up like mine you probably have better luck easier to get them off but mine is pretty seized up and um, what I did is after removing the 14mm bolts you put a flathead screwdriver but obviously obviously 
has something wrapped around it so you don't damage the cover and then uh, while you're prying it hammer the bolt because you can see there are a whole lot of little teeth on there there's a lock in the arm in place you hammer it while you're prying it it'll come off and same as this one so after you've done all of that simple as pulling it forward just like that and remove these arms the inner way after removing all of those you can see um, you can see there is a let me see if you guys can see so there is a rubber boot right here is the rubber boot right there so with the rubber boot what you can do is you can use a flathead screwdriver to slide it between the boot and the body the firewall and then you just pry it the boot will come undone and then you can feed the wire through um, the firewall which is super easy right or you can poke a hole through the boot just be careful you don't damage any wire and you feed the wire through the boot and you seal it off you can see it's in a pretty tight space but um it's doable and if you do it this way you get a way tidier result but yeah if you want to um have a bit more space we can do is you can remove the bolts the bracket that is holding the the wiper arm or motor and then those give you a lot more room to play around but um, with that being said this is a two uh, factory uh, point you can use to run the wire through your firewall into your G35 or 350Z the, the reason I like this one a lot more is um, if you're like installing the gauges or something like that it's probably likely to be on the A pillar or the center console which really the wire comes down to here and then back up super short easy um, whereas if you use that factory point it's gonna come all the way through the dash and then to the driver side which it's okay but personally um, I don't want to have a whole lot of wire underneath my dash it's just a mess and it's harder to trace if there's a problem and to be honest, if you are running a uh, amplifier or uh, something through the firewall, you don't care which side, then honestly, I'd choose that location because it's way easier. Uh, you don't have to remove all the tedious uh, wiper arm, um, easy slide, poke a wire through, done. So there we go, guys. I hope this uh, helps you out.